Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Sermons from My Heart. This is Craig Condit speaking. Today's message is actually a children's message. It's a, a, about a big riddle about heaven. The message is based on Luke chapter 20, verses 27 to 38, and I'll read that passage to you now. Some Sadducees, those who think there is no resurrection, came to Jesus and asked him a question. Teacher, Moses wrote for us that if a man's brother dies, leaving a wife but no children, the man shall marry the widow and raise up children for his brother. Now there were seven brothers, the first married and died childless, then the second, and the third married her, and so in the same way all seven died childless. Finally the woman also died. In the resurrection, therefore, whose wife will the woman be? For the seven had married her. Jesus said to them, Those who belong to this age marry and are given in marriage, but those who are considered worthy of a place in that age and in the resurrection from the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage. Indeed, they cannot die any more, because they are like angels and are children of God, being children of the resurrection. And the fact that the dead are raised, Moses himself showed in the story about the bush, where he speaks of the Lord as the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Now he is God not of the dead, but of the living, for to him all of them are alive. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, hello boys and girls. How many of you like riddles? I liked them when I was your age, and I still like them because they make you think. Jesus also liked riddles. He liked it when people told him riddles, and he also used riddles called parables. He used these riddles to teach the people about God. One day, Jesus was approached by a group of Sadducees, religious leaders who did not believe in the resurrection. They were trying to trick Jesus into agreeing that there was no resurrection. They asked him to answer this riddle. The law of Moses says that if a man dies, leaving a wife but no children, his brother should marry the widow and have a child who will carry on the brother's name. Well, suppose there were seven brothers. The oldest one married and then died without children. So the second brother married the widow, but he also died. Then the third brother married her. This continued until all seven brothers had married the same woman. Finally, the woman also died. So tell us, who will she be married to after the resurrection, since all seven were married to her? My, that is a tricky riddle, isn't it? Listen to Jesus' answer. He replied, Marriage is for people here on earth, but in the age to come, those who are raised from the dead will not marry or be married. Not only that, but they will never die again. They will live forever as the children of God. Jesus went on to say, Even Moses showed that the dead arise, for he calls the Lord the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is not the God of the dead. He is the God of the living. After Jesus answered their riddle so wisely, no one dared to ask him any more questions. Now you and I know that Jesus promised us that if we love him and trust in him, we will live forever in heaven with him. Isn't it sad that some people do not believe that there is a resurrection and eternal life in heaven? Let us bow our heads for a moment of prayer. Dear God, thank you for promising us eternal life in heaven. Help us to live the life you want us to live so that we can be with you in heaven. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for listening to this episode of Sermons from My Heart. The text of this sermon, as well as the text of other sermons I have preached, can be found on my website, www.sermonsfrommyheart.com. Comments and suggestions are always welcome. You can leave comments on the website, or you can send them to me by email at craigcondon1965 at gmail.com, or you can leave them on the Sermons from My Heart Facebook page. Until next time, May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.